September 10th, I'm Jaden Troxel. And I'm Sean Cho. We've got a lot of announcements for you today, so let's get started. First up, National Honor Society is now accepting applications through Tuesday, September 22nd. Applications are available in Mrs. Backrack's room, number 821. If interested, come by and fill out an application to be part of NHS. Juniors, there are more class shirts available in the student store for just $15. The early bird deadline to turn in payment and photos for senior recognition ads in the yearbook is October 9th. You can print out information from the online student store, pay online, or at student services. The final deadline is November 9th, so act now to get the lower price. Last week, our female Grizzlies kicked some serious wildcat butt at the volleyball game. Let's take a quick look on the game everyone seems to be talking about. Welcome back to Sports, Granite Bay. I'm Chris Hurley. Going over the events this week, there's a lot we need to cover. Last week in sports, boys soccer lost to Whitney 2-1, and our football team beat Kasuma Soaks 14-11. Today, we've got a game of girls varsity volleyball against St. Francis, held at home around 6 p.m. Tomorrow, we've got an away 3.30 p.m. game against Rockland, and another away game of girls water polo against Vintage at 5.30. Finally, next Monday, there's a varsity boys water polo game at 445 against the Christian Brothers, and at 545, a girls varsity water polo game also against Christian Brothers. That's all for now. Stay tuned to the Bulletin for more updates, and stay grizzly, Granite Bay. Great way to start off the season, ladies. Do you guys like looking at colors and stuff? Heck yeah! Who doesn't? Then I think you'd like to hear about Mr. Stevens' art gallery. Let's go to more information about that. Mr. Stevens has been teaching art for 23 years and has always told the students in his class and parents at back to school night that if you can mow a lawn without falling down, we can teach you how to paint. Stevens didn't get into teaching art because he was an artist. He went into teaching because both of his parents were teachers and they loved their jobs. He wasn't a talented artist. He said, I couldn't even paint a milk carton as a still life in my second year of college as an art major. Everyone thought it was a poorly painted book. He had to learn techniques and tricks to be able to paint, which is what he teaches, the technique so that anyone can be successful in art. Mr. Stevens is having a solo exhibit at the John Natsalis Gallery in Davis this month with 33 paintings on the first and third floor. The show runs from September 2nd to October 3rd with a reception on September 12th, Saturday, 7 to 9 p.m. with live music, so be sure to check it out. Thanks for the info. I can't wait to see his art gallery. Sierra College will once again be hosting a series of its popular parent information nights at the Rockland campus during the fall of 2015. If parents are interested, they can reserve a space by emailing outreach at sierracollege.edu, indicating which date they would like you to attend and how many spaces to reserve. The following colleges will have representatives in the College and Career Center, William Jessup on September 11th and St. Mary's College of California on September 15th. Also, there's Seattle Pacific on September 15th and ROTC Marine Branch and the University of Chicago on the 16th. All scholarships are available on Naviance. Seniors, you can log on to Naviance and click the College tab to check out the scholarship opportunities that are currently available. Any questions, see Mrs. Underwood in the College and Career Center. Well, Jaden, it looks like there are no more time for announcements. We'll see you next time. I'm Jaden Troxel. And I'm Sean Shaw. Have a great day, Granite Bay.